it, now this brings it full circle for you. And this is why when I saw this appointment, I was like, this is perfect. Because guess what she came in with? All kinds of hormone problems, you see? She had been to her doctor, right? She had problems with her hormones around her. I mean, you, you know, ladies, you could, you could state all of her, her issues, OK? You know, her, her periods, oh, she this thing, her periods are better now, et cetera. So she had problems there. So we do the estrogen test that I talked to you about, that I feel that every woman should absolutely do. This shows us there's good and bad estrogen. The two is considered the good, the four and 16 are the bad. The two is the protective. What this test gives us is a look at these ratios. So when she came in, we looked. Now look, guys, two, four, and uh, the different types of estrogen. The bottom line, I'm going to keep it really simple. But here's the problem. What this test showed me was, is this one right here, the 2-methyloxy, right here, the 2-methyloxyestrone. This is the protective estrogen that you need. And she was very low on this estrogen, OK? Now, here's the thing. The, this one right here, the, uh, the ratio right here, this ratio right here, when it's out into the red zone, that means that she has a problem, OK? So although when she was going to her doctor, her estrogen was in the normal range, it wasn't telling her how much of the good and how much of the bad. So when you look at the good one, the more the better. When you look at the bad one, there's a top and a bottom. The 4-hydroxy, and let me teach you this real fast, when you put a methyl group on the estrogen, that means you protect the estrogen. So what this test showed me is every place she wasn't adding methyl groups. So she had a really high level of the 2-hydroxy. She wasn't adding the methyl group on it to make it the protective estrogen. So everywhere that that was a problem, um, like right here, this ratio was really low, which also states that she wasn't able to put a methyl group on it. Now I'm going to teach you something, and this is really neat, because this went right along with her history. So when I read her report, it basically said this woman is not putting methyl groups on her estrogen. Therefore, her ratio of good to bad estrogen is off. Okay? Now, what does glutathione do? Glutathione is able to methylate things and protect you. So why do you think she wasn't putting methyl groups on estrogen and protecting her bad estrogen? Absolutely. Her glutathione was being wiped out. So guess what? She didn't have the ability to methylate. And that's what the test showed. The test showed that basically she's not methylating her estrogen. Therefore, she was poisoning herself with bad estrogen. And what the test is saying is basically she's in the danger zone to develop cancer because she's not methylating the estrogen. So her doctor's looking at her estrogen going normal level, but meanwhile, she's not methylating the bad estrogen and making it protective estrogen. Do you see the problem? Is it possible to have normal or high levels of glutathione and still have high estrogen? Yes. I would say yes, because the methylization may not be a problem. So yes. This test not only shows you that, this test also comes up in people that says, you know what? They're not eating enough crucifer type of vegetables with cauliflower, broccoli, et cetera, because certain ratios can be off. So I can even take the test and tell you, you know, dietarily what you need to take. So the test can literally show you three or four things that I can then specifically target with supplements to change that. So now I can give her something called trimethylglycine, which offers this huge methyl group. And what the test also recommended is B6 and certain B vitamins that also offer methyl groups because it's really trying to support that, that pathway that I talked to you about. So therefore, you know, with the test now, I was very specific on how to supplement. Sometimes when, after you take the test, when um, this ratio is off, this one, I have to give something called DIM. And DIM is basically the active ingredient in broccoli in a super high level. Because that means that what happens is they have too much of this one, at this one right here, 16-hydroxy. So it's really neat. This is new stuff and new science. So you know, not only are we telling you, look, all this stuff that we're putting in our bodies is causing estrogen problems, but it's causing these problems right here. Got it? Pretty neat.